It will be the largest tax cut in the history of our country. As President Donald Trump and the Republican Party get ready to push for tax reform across the country, the administration has yet to sign a piece of major legislation into law. We don't have the votes. Nothing Donald Trump does over the next four years really depends on Donald Trump alone. And so you, as a constituent, have enormous power. Leah Greenberg is the co-founder of Indivisible, a progressive network of thousands of local groups dedicated to resisting the Trump agenda. <laughs> Indivisible has protested the president's travel ban, the defunding of Planned Parenthood, efforts to repeal Obamacare, and much more. Indivisible reportedly has a volunteer-led and organized chapter in every congressional district in the U.S., more than 6,000 groups nationwide. We were just trying to figure out what, what we could do to respond to the incoming administration and the dangers that it posed. We went back to sort of our early years as young congressional staffers on the Hill uh, and faced this really determined local advocacy movement, the Tea Party. Kill Bill! Kill Bill! Kill Bill! After the election, we had this realization that they may have had, there might have been some lessons from that period for what we saw as this emerging wave of grassroots activism. So, taking inspiration from a former foe, Greenberg put together a small Google Doc expressly modeled after the Tea Party's tactics. We thought that, you know, somebody would, like our friends would like it on Facebook and in six months somebody would maybe send us an email and say, hey, I used your guide and we would be really excited. That was, that was success for us. But now success looks a lot different. Read Indivisible. It really works. The Google Doc went viral and then crashed before Greenberg and her husband realized their guide was making its way across the country. Indivisible chapters started popping up all over, and these newly politically active volunteers had questions. As a volunteer team, we started trying to um, be just sort of a help desk to all of the folks who were coming to us. And we realized at some point that that was not, uh, we couldn't do that forever as volunteers. So in December, we put the Google Doc out, December 14th. And then um, my husband quit his job in January. I quit my job in March. We started actually uh, paying people salaries and you know, <laughs> becoming a real organization right. in April. Well, I think our, our original theory of change was pretty explicitly modeled on um, the Tea Party, uh, which was local action that was really directed at your elected officials. And it was defensive in nature. For us, um, resistance right now is playing defense against those things while also keeping in mind um, you know, the fact that ultimately we want to build something better. And we can't just sort of go back to where we were in 2016. We have to go forward and we have to do something more meaningful.